Strap yourselves in, folks, because today we're going to investigate blogger and media personality Mia Friedman, who spearheads one of the largest digital media companies for women, the Mamma Mia Women's Network. The, some of the um, parties have very confusing names, and one of those names is the Health Australia Party. Now, that sounds good. Who doesn't want a healthy Australia? I do. Do you think Mia really cares about her audience, let alone their health? Here is a tweet that was meant to be a private message, but accidentally made its way into the public arena. Many allege it was written by Mia Friedman herself, as it's in her writing style. Quote, Exhausted by the fuckers, at the moment, XXXX. Now, this speaks volumes about how she views her Mamma Mia audience. The tweet was promptly deleted. You do, you do. Mons, I bet you do. Yep, we all do, but you actually don't. Native advertising is a type of disguised advertising, usually online, that matches the form and function of the platform upon which it appears. Here's an example. Mayor Friedman wrote an article entitled, Refusing pain medication for yourself or your kids does not earn you smug points. Do you really want a healthy Australia, Mayor, when you write, I love drugs, I really do, always have, not the illegal kind, so much? Your warning against Health Australia Party is a major conflict of interest. When you're being paid to promote Panadol by vaccine manufacturer GlaxoSmithKline, Friedman is proud that the Mamma Mia network is leading the Australian market in native advertising, says Jamila Rivzi, editor-in-chief of Mamma Mia Network. The type of health that this party advocates is that science science is equal to natural medicine. So they believe that um, homeopathic vaccines, for example, are just as good as the actual ones from science that work. Mia Friedman admits to doing absolutely no independent research on vaccines. Friedman states in her own words, my position on vaccinations is really simple. I do it. I cannot quote you reams of research as to why I have barely done any. Maybe that makes me a sheep or an ill-informed parent. But I'm happy to follow the herd on this one because I have no reason to believe otherwise. This is a good reason to believe otherwise with her $12 million mansion paid for by her advertisers. Download the Save the Date to Vaccinate app to your phone. Enter your child's name and date of birth and let the app do the rest. It's the easiest way to ensure your child stays protected from potentially fatal diseases. Search... Yeah, fatal diseases like measles that used to be a mild childhood disease. And remember when it was joked about on the Brady Bunch? This is the life, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, if you have to get sick, you sure can't beat the measles. That's right, no medicine. They believe there shouldn't be fluoride in water some radioactive chemicals, including many cancer-causing chemicals, including heavy metals, uh, neurologically damaging elements, that are called fluoride. The way in which lobby groups are operating, consumer lobby groups, um, uh, that are pro-vaccine, are using prominent social media websites such as the Mamma Mia website. And these individuals are giving open access to that website to present their opinions, because many of them do not have health qualifications um, or scientific qualifications that um, allow them to present academic research. And they believe that everybody should just choose their own adventure when it comes to health. So they write these scare campaigns, they, they talk about these scare campaigns of no compulsory vaccination. There never has been compulsory vaccination and there will not be that compulsory vaccination. It seems Mia wants compulsory vaccinations and the adult immunisation registry, which started on September the 1st. Mama Mia also posted this, health check. When do adults need to be immunised? Not government coercion telling us uh, what we can do, what we can't do with our kids. There is no other mandated procedure in our, that is, it's, first of all, it's illegal. You can't have, you can't make, um, you can't make people do procedures that they don't want. The parents have to be the ones who make the decisions for what's best for, my, for, for our kids. It can't be the government saying that. It's against the Nuremberg laws. What 
the well-being and the health of our country and the safety and the lives of our vulnerable, like newborns and anyone who's having cancer treatment or the elderly, relies on. Hang on. What about the lives of the vulnerable after they've been vaccinated? This is from John Hopkins Hospital about caring for the immunocompromised patients and its states. Tell your friends and your family who are sick or have recently had a live vaccine such as chickenpox, measles or rubella not to visit. Is that people will be vaccinated of their own accord because it is not just the right thing to do to save your own life but the right thing to do to help everyone because vaccination only works if everyone does it or nearly everyone does it. The vulnerable need protection from the vaccinated. Here is an insert from the Varivax chicken pox vaccine. Because there are some people that actually can't do it and the only way that they can be protected is if the rest of us do. It's called herd immunity. Okay, so that's basically saying that you're irresponsible if you don't vaccinate yourself or your child because you're putting other people at risk. Well, there's a few problems with that theory. One is that if people trust their vaccines, they shouldn't be worried about what you're doing. But even more problematic to me is the more I understand about vaccines, the more I understand that so many of the people that are vaccinated are actually developing the disease and then infecting other people oftentimes shortly after they're vaccinated. So Health Australia Party, as I wrote on Facebook yesterday, has this very misleading name. And interestingly, all the people, and there are about 20,000 comments, and that's not an exaggeration on my post now, all the people that are coming there and abusing me for what I posted, which is, do not vote for this party. They are dangerous and they are not what they sound like. They're all coming and I've clicked on a few of their pages and they're all rampant anti-vaxxers. Mamma Mia is clearly interested in the publication of death threats and defamatory statements. Mamma Mia has permitted a death threat against vaccine choice advocate Meryl Dory to be published. The poster, who comes across as being a particularly troubled individual, wrote, This clearly offensive comment is also deemed acceptable by Freeman and her Mamma Mia propaganda machine. Now they machine. say that officially they do not have a policy of being anti-vax. But it's one of those kind of amorphous, sowing a little bit of fear. It's dangerous. Don't vote for them. You yeah. can't tell people who to vote for and who not to vote for. What I about the people easily. that say? <laughs> they don't have I think to I have. just did. But they don't have to listen. No, no, no. Of course I can't. Vote for who, who you want to. But I don't believe that you should be called one thing if you're not another thing. And really? Mia, but you're far ma Mia. Thing, and it can be very confusing in the ballot room, what's it called, the ballot box, to know vote, who vote. you're voting for. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.